check this thing out. This little recon thing stuck in the air in the middle of our squad battle. Modern Combat 5, one of the best things about the game was squad battles until everyone started cheating to get up in the rankings. I'm going to talk about three cheats squads are using. The first one, squad rankings could not be updated due to an unexpected error. I know all of you squads have seen this one. This is a glitch squads are using when they don't want to lose points in the rankings. We see it all the time. And I'm going to be straight up with you guys. The clan I'm in, RSPN, we've never done the glitch but one time. We were trying to see if it actually worked because it had happened to us a few times and it did. I'm not going to share with you how to do it in this video because I don't want to perpetuate the problem even more. Let's talk about the second cheat. And this one I am going to show you how it's done because it's straight up cheap. So the squad I'm in, we made a big push. We got to the top 20, and then that's when things just started going bad, real bad. Everybody was doing anything they could to beat us. We started losing points. We dropped from like 20 to 60, and this second one was so cheap. We go up against this clan who's ranked number 10, and we're on rooftops. This was the second time we had played them in the night, and the first time we had played them, we had barely lost like 48 to 50. We were up by... 20 points this guy joined. I swear he was hacking. He was so good and he just destroyed us 50 to 48. So we come against them again. We think we're going to get revenge. We go into rooftops. We're running around guys for like a minute and a half. We can't find these guys and they're camping downstairs in this hallway you're seeing. They're camping there waiting for us, you know, scoped in as we come in. They get some, some kills on us and then guess what? They never spawn again. We killed them and their bodies stayed stuck on the ground for the rest of the game. And it just happened, I was in a call with my squad as we were doing this. We were freaking out. We're like, did the game crash on them? Did something happen? No, totally intentional. They drew us in to that hallway, got their kills on us. And as soon as we killed them, they never let themselves spawn again. That is so cheap. And the developers, this is such an easy fix for you guys. Here's how you do this cheat. When you die, you know how you have to wait five seconds before you can hit deploy and spawn? Well, if you don't hit deploy, it will automatically spawn you. So here's how you do the cheat. While you're dead, hit the pause button. You hit the pause button, your body's gonna lay on the ground for the rest of the stinking game. And that is one of the cheapest, most cheating things I've ever seen. And this shot clan who's in the top 10 found out later they had done this multiple squad battles. So guys are doing anything they can to get up in the rankings. Now let's move on to cheat number three. Number three is not really a cheat, but it's something that is just driving me crazy and I have to get it off my chest. I think a lot of you are gonna agree with me. What squad battles have become is a crumpler battle. The crumpler is so overpowered. This weapon is so newbie. You don't have to have any skill at all. Look at this guy come around. He kills Gernsky, immediately shoots a second shot and gets me when I'm parked way around the corner and he's super far away. You don't even have to aim with this thing. The splash damage on it is massive. As you saw there, I was way around the corner. He shoots and gets me one shot kill with the splash damage. So the range is huge. The splash damage is huge. You can reload the thing super, super fast. The reload is way quicker than any of the other weapons. And if you spend the time to upgrade Heavy Class, you get three shots with a Crumpler, plus you get a lot of increased health and resistance against damage. So it's really, really hard to go against a Crumpler. And I don't care what weapon you use. I said in my other video, I use Red a lot in squad battles because that is the best weapon as far as power and punch. A lot of guys, all they use is Red. I don't care if you use Red because you can actually combat that. The Crumpler is so hard to combat. If you're killing a guy who's using Crumpler, look at that. This guy just took two guys out within a split second, two shots off super quick. If you are killing a guy with Crumpler, chances are he will kill you at the same time because they can get a shot off as they're dying. That sums up my three cheats squads are using in squad battles. Now there's a lot of good squads who are doing great, who are ranked high and are really, really pro at this game. I'm calling out the squads who are using any of these tactics. You will be blacklisted in the community. You will get absolutely no respect. Don't use any of these tactics. Play the game fair play the game, and just get good at it. And if you rank up that way in squads, you will have my ultimate respect. 
Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you stopping by my channel once again. Many more great videos coming in the pipeline. This is Chase signing out.